stay tuned for this important tip. From our garden to yours. tough time choosing plants that can tolerate our summer heat. Well, Tom is here to share with me some of his favorites. Tom, tell me a little bit about your, your garden here. You know, this is a changing garden. I like it because I can come through and have a few perennials and have a few plants that I can replace. For instance, down here's the cannas, and they're, they're coming back, just starting to get a, a little flower head on this one here, but they were, you know, during the wintertime, all the way down to the ground, especially with last winter being so cold, uh, but we find that's, it's That's a great back. plant, though. Yeah. And Tough and durable, yes. I like it. The main problem is the slugs or the caterpillars that come in, but I, I don't have that rust, much of a problem. But they're really, yeah. they're a lot of color in the summer. They need a little bit of moisture too, don't yes, they? Yes, they do, they love the moisture. They love moisture. Yeah. Right next to it, one of our native plants here, this is that salvia coccinia. I have that in my yard. Isn't that neat? It I is. mean, with all the red flowers on it. Here's the thing about it. If you have it in your front yard this year, you'll have it in your backyard <laughs> next year. And why is that? <laughs> it seeds very heavily. I mean, it I'm does. constantly riding it to try to keep them out. And you see little ones popping up all over the place down there. a good there. one to share with your friends though. Yes it is. You yeah. can eat it with seeds or you can get Good. yourself a clump or whatever. Yeah, readily from seeds. You know what this plant here is? A lot of people I don't. Do. I do. I, I think it's California poppy. It isn't is. It? The California Look poppy. Look the color on this. I know it reseeds itself. It's a huh. come again plant. We love it. Plus there's pastels that you can get too. We don't have them here. We have in another area. So you didn't seed any of these? It all no, came I, back? I planted this one oh, in but okay. it can. It can come back hmm. like that. Beautiful. And, and rubber here is what's fading out right now. We see the pansies starting to go out out and they're going to be gone, gone very quickly. In, yeah, in the summer. They're not yeah. a summer plant. Yeah, no. And violas are much better, but they'll fade out in the summer too. In the back here is our native flocks of Texas. Look at all the colors in that there. Isn't that kind of so neat? pretty. Just love that one there. That'll reseed too. It'll hmm. keep coming back. Isn't that amazing? And up at the very end up here is the bulbine. That's, That's that a little, new plant. Little I've little seen it planted there. in medians and places like that. Yeah, it's I a, have it in my yard. It's a, it's a tough, durable plant. It's really and drought it just tolerant. It keeps coming back and one little crump hmm. goes those are the bigger ones, but guess what? I've got a real surprise for you. I got a whole collection of other warm season flowers. Right I can't over here. wait. Let's go check them out. Well, Tom, it looks like you've collected quite a few warm season flowers to share with me today. Yeah, I have a great collection here. This is what's available at the garden centers. I mean, you can go out and do it yourself, which is kind of neat. That is neat. And we're going to plant some in here, but we want to talk let's, about a few just yeah, from the let's start talk here. About, well, let's go with the old standby begonias. I know. I love them. In summer, they just need a little shade. A little wax begonia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a neat one. And you know, there's a whole bunch of begonias to be discovered out there. The cane begonias, one called dragon wing with red. I like that and, one. And, and I think the wax ones are easy ones to find at the garden centers. Yeah, they do good. They need a shady yeah. spot and some water. And the Gerber up oh, there. Look at that. Love that. That is the prettiest thing. And of course, they come in all colors yeah. too. Here's the secret I found the Gerbera. Keep them in a container. Don't plant them in the ground. Although okay. there are some new varieties coming out, I understand that'll be more tolerant of being planted in the ground, just like the old ones that we used to have. One of my favorites is right next to you. The polka dot plant or the hypo estes. Now this is when you want to have some color, but you don't want to have a flower, or you can't have a flower. Yeah, it's, it's got a little purple yeah. one, but it's not very noticeable. Yeah. But there's green and white. There's uh, lighter pink and lighter greens. I love that plant. Yeah, I do too. It can grow <laughs> in the filtered sun. A little bit of sun would be fine. And right next to it, we might as well point out because everybody's going to want to know what is that one, the, and that's the one of the euphorbias. The diamond that's out frost. There. This yeah. is popular in the garden centers right now. Yes, it is, and yeah. it works well in container gardens also. So a great well. plant. A great plant. Okay, you're on, you're on the spot. Okay. What are you going to plant in here? we got well, a container. we got a nice loose potting soil. I'll loosen it up for you right yeah, there. Yeah, that's the first thing there to start out with mm -hmm. is a nice potting soil. Well, I'm going to go with the pinks because okay. I like pinks and and pinks and purples in this little planter. Okay, you got a and coleus. So I'm going to start with a coleus. Of course, coleus is probably the best, one of the best plants for summertime. Very tough and durable. Just a neat one to have in, in the landscape. And, and of course, or in a container like we have here. I want to have a flower, so I'm planting a penta. This might get a little big. Very tough and durable. A lot of the uh, pentas are dwarf varieties these days. And we might point out there's a little pink one just for a little contrast there. I like them all. I like the red the best because it brings in the hummingbirds and the butterflies. Mm, which I love. Yep. Now I'm planting a Cleome. Okay. Tell me a little bit about that. Another neat uh, annual. Uh, it will grow almost year round. Doesn't like the very cold weather, but we have ones that grow very tall and one that stay very small. White, pink, and uh, maybe some little bit of purple in some of them there. 
Now I'm planting some of the stuff in the back that is a little bit taller. Okay, that's a salvia there, a little blue salvia. Nice, great plant for the landscape Tell me about, too. about this one. Oh, I love the zinnias. There's just so many of them that you can grow. We've got new varieties. You know, zinnias have been a challenge during the summertime. But we find that these little perfusia, little Sahara types, look at the color variations you have there. Tom, I want to thank you for sharing all these wonderful flowers with me today. It's been my pleasure. And if you're going to think about planting some of these beautiful warm season flowers in your garden this summer. Mm -hmm.